A Niagara-based book wholesaler was the victim of a cyber attack last September and October. While customer information was protected, hundreds of current and former employees' information was accessed, something they were made aware of just last month. Back in September, Book Depot, a wholesaler, shared tweets from late September to mid-October, informing customers that the website would be offline due to maintenance. Five months later, employees, even former employees like Becky Dickinson, received troubling mail. It's been a breach and your bank information and all your personal information has, is compromised. And Dickinson isn't alone. Someone who worked there 18 years ago received a letter. 14 years ago. There's a few of those people. There's eight years ago, seven years ago. In a statement, Book Depot tells CHCH, quote, Book Depot worked with cybersecurity experts to conduct a careful and detailed review of all potentially affected systems. During this review, personal information of current and former employees was identified. Unlike a physical robbery, cybersecurity analyst Ritesh Kotak says cyber attacks take time to identify, which could have played a part in the delayed notification to staff. It could be months before an organiza organization actually discovers that there has been a breach, and then you do an investigation to see exactly what's been breached, uh, who may have been the uh, individuals involved, because um, these things are, are complex. It's not that a breach happens today, you're going to know about it today and, and start the reporting process tomorrow. That does happen, but that's not always the case. Kotak says any personal information attracts hackers in hopes of turning a profit. Maybe social insurance numbers, I, um, ident personal identifiable information might might be on these systems. So as a result, um, that stuff is valuable to hackers and fraudsters because they can resell that on the dark web. Valuable information. Dickinson wonders why her former employer still has it in their possession. Why would they still have it on file? People 14 years ago, why do you still have your their bank information? Niagara Regional Police tells CHCH that while the system was indeed hacked, it appears that no data was taken from Book Depot systems, and that the case has now been transferred to the RCMP Cybercrime Unit.